Of course, the earth-shattering news in the world of professional wrestling this week, the shot heard around the world, if you will, was that the macho man Randy Savage would indeed be the headline inductee into the 2015 WWE Hall of Fame class. Finally, right? About damn time, right? Thank God, right? Indeed, all of that and so much more. You know, this was the big news, no question. The biggest news, as it deserved to be, as it should have been. And I understand why so many people are excited about this, because I am too. I also understand why a lot of people are bothered by this in part because of the amount of time that it took for this to finally happen, and the fact that now it's finally happening, we won't get that last chance to see the Macho Man say thank you, say goodbye. Have that kind of closure like we did last year, let's say, with the Ultimate Warrior, which thankfully we finally got. And I understand that. And it's a big void there. It's the, the elephant in the room, if you will. And I understand it. But still, I'm not going to allow that to overshadow this moment. I'm not going to allow that to make me cynical about this. I'm not going to allow that to ruin this for me. As a wrestling fan right now, frankly, especially when it comes to the WWE, I don't have a lot to grab onto. I don't have a lot to hold on to. I don't have a lot to look forward to in particular. This is the one thing that I have to look forward to when it comes to WrestleMania 31 is that night before WrestleMania, seeing the Macho Man Randy Savage be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. And no one or nothing is going to ruin that for me. No one and no thing is going to take that away from me. Period. Now, with the years of complaining and bitching and moaning about this that we've all done, and understandably and deservably and righteously so, one of the big talking points that would go along with that when it would kind of branch out into other areas of conversation was who would you have that could actually be able to induct the Macho Man Randy Savage? Who would be the right individual to have match the Macho Man in his career, his persona, his achievements, his accomplishments, the moment in time? Who would be able to step up and match that? Who would feel right? And I've seen different names thrown out there over the years. I've seen Ricky Steamboat thrown out there, and understandably so. Their timeless classic at WrestleMania 3 is still talked about almost three decades later. And while on the one hand that kind of makes sense because you could take Steamboat seriously, you know that he's going to say nothing but good things about the Macho Man, I understand why a lot of people would have gravitated towards him maybe potentially being an option. But in the grand scheme of things, no offense to Ricky Steamboat at all, himself a WWE Hall of Famer, himself a legend. Does Steamboat feel worthy of inducting the Macho Man Randy Savage? And to the simple answer to me is no. When he was in the WWE, many people thought that maybe a CM Punk would be an appropriate choice. His tributes to the Macho Man Randy Savage, his obvious love and admiration for the Macho Man Randy Savage, and the fact that he was a top guy in the WWE today, would have made perfect sense, it would seem, in a lot of ways. And I can understand that. But at the end of the day, CM Punk is one type of level. Macho Man was on a whole entirely different stratosphere. CM Punk just isn't good enough to me. For somebody to be able to induct the Macho Man Randy Savage, they have to be able to sit there and match the person, match the performer, match the achievements, match the accomplishments, and feel like a big deal. They have to feel like this is a big deal. This guy inducting them makes this a big deal. And it had to be somebody that had the type of history with the Macho Man that it would make sense. And to me, there were always only two candidates, and that was Vince McMahon and that was Hulk Hogan. Now, you could make a lot of arguments for Vince McMahon, uh, especially from the standpoint a lot of fans would have been like, all the years of blackballing him, well, fuck you. Now you got to induct him. Eat shit and like the taste of it. And a lot of people thought that would have been appropriate. You know, for many years, Macho Man and Vince McMahon had a working relationship and a pretty good one. And it went south for whatever reason. We have the rumors, we have the speculation, we have everything else. But the bottom line is, is that Vince McMahon doesn't induct a whole lot of people in the WWE Hall of Fame. When he does, it's a big, big deal. See, Stone Cold Steve Austin is a perfect example. That was a perfect example of there could only be one guy that would induct him, and even no offense to The Rock, it had to be Vince McMahon. That was the only way it was going to work. With the Macho Man Randy Savage, you could sit there and made a very huge argument about the fact that Vince needed to be the one to induct him. However, with that said, if Vince inducts him, 
then it kind of is addressing some of those elephants in the room and people could show their anger and vitriol and hatred towards Vince about many different things, including the fact that he kept Macho Man out of the Hall of Fame all of these years and all of this other stuff. And at the end of the day, it maybe wasn't the right choice. There's only one other choice to me, and that would have been Hulk Hogan. And I understand why a lot of people are bothered by this. The fact that Hulk Hogan is going to induct the Macho Man Randy Savage into the WWE Hall of Fame. They view Hulk Hogan as a bit of a bullshitter, a liar, um, somebody that's a glory hog, somebody that in some ways maybe tried to undercut the Macho Man Randy Savage over the years. They listen to the narrative that Macho Man said out there for many years about Hulk Hogan. They've seen what Hogan said in return about the Macho Man over the years and all of this and all of that. I get it and I understand it. But shut up. There could only be one person. There was only one guy. And look, a lot of the things that you say about Hogan are true, and I'm not going to sit here and dispute them. And I know what some of you are going to say. Oh, imagine that. The big-time Hogan mark is going to advocate for Hogan being the one to induct the Macho Man Randy Savage. Well, in this case, yes. Because in this case, it's the only way to go. When you want to talk about legends, and you want to talk about icons, it doesn't get much bigger than Hulk Hogan. When it comes to the Macho Man Randy Savage, there are two names that you always associate with him. Miss Elizabeth and Hulk Hogan in some type of particular shape or order. For better or worse, like it or not, that's the truth and that's the reality. And when it comes to inducting somebody of the caliber, of the quality, of the achievements of a Macho Man Randy Savage, you have to have somebody that makes sense. You have to have somebody that matches all of those things as I've discussed. And the one individual that makes the most sense that does all of that is Hulk Hogan, period. One thing that has frustrated me over the years is how everybody's always blamed Hogan for the relationship that he and Savage didn't or did have. You know, Typically in these type of situations, it takes two to tango. I'm sure Hulk did a lot of sneaky, underhanded bullshit things to the Macho Man. But let's not paint Macho Man to be a patron saint. Yes, maybe he passed away so that way he could save us from the rapture, and I firmly believe that that is exactly what happened. But you can't tell me that Macho Man didn't do stuff to stoke the fires. And let's not sit here and pretend that Randy Poffel, Randy Savage, was a perfect man. He had his flaws, he had his demons, and we most certainly have heard about him and known about him for years. It doesn't make him a bad man, it just makes him human, if anything else. But with that said, that this, this had to be the choice. This had to be the option. Because at the end of the day, when you think about the macho man Randy Savage, you think about two people in some order. It's either Miss Elizabeth or it's Hulk Hogan. And at a period of time and at a moment where this is as much about anything else as getting closure and things coming full circle and it being about this moment, it only could be Hulk Hogan. For some of you younger fans that didn't grow up during the 80s, that didn't live through the mega powers when the mania met the mass, oh yeah, dig it, freak out! You might not understand it. You might not get it. You might not appreciate it. And I don't knock you for that. How could you? You didn't live it. You didn't experience it. But more so for the fans in my age demographic. The ones that grew up during that time of the Hogan expansion era of the 80s. They know what Hogan and Savage represented. They understand the relationship between Hogan and Savage. And they understand what Hogan and Savage did working together, working against each other, wrestling each other. They understand that this is the right way to go. That frankly, this was the only way to go. Because if we're talking about things coming full circle, the only way for those things to come full circle, frankly, is for Hulk Hogan to be the one to induct him. You really think Hulk Hogan is going to go into this speech at Hall of Fame weekend, WrestleMania 31 weekend, and he's going to crap on Randy Savage? He's going to talk shit about Randy Savage? That he's going to do anything other than kiss this guy's ass to kingdom come and sing his praises and put over Randy Savage in the way that he deserves to be put over? If you think 
anything other than that is going to happen. You're kidding yourself. Because while Hogan is many things, the one thing he's not is stupid, whether you want to believe that or not. He understands, and he knows, and in some ways maybe Hogan needs this too. He needs to have that ability to come full circle. He needs to have that opportunity to make things right. And we as fans, we need things, frankly, when it comes to the Macho Man Randy Savage to be made right. And when I think about the Macho Man Randy Savage going into the Hall of Fame at WrestleMania 31 weekend, there was only one guy that could have ever inducted him, whether you like it or not. It had to be Hulk Hogan. To me, it's like the mega powers are running wild one more time. This had to be the option. There was no other choice. You could have some other person do it on the current roster, and it would feel like a ham and egg or half-assed job, and a lot of us would be complaining about it afterwards. You could sit there and do Steamboat, and that would be nice on the one hand, but that doesn't measure up. You could do Vince, but that would be flawed for the reasons that I already stated. And now many of you have this hatred towards Hulk Hogan, and again, I understand that. I'm not here to knock you for that. And I understand why this would bother certain people. And again, I get that, and I understand that. At the end of the day, however, now I sound like Hogan, at the end of the day, this had to happen. This was the only person who could do it. This was the only person that was qualified to do it, in my opinion. This was the only person that would feel right for him to do it. It had to be Hulk Hogan. At a moment, in a period of time where so many things are going to be about closure and being full circle, he was the only guy that really would match the man, the moment, the accomplishments, the achievements. Who else are you going to have do it? It's got to be Hogan. Come on, people. I understand if you don't like Hogan. You think he's an egomaniac, he's a politician, and he's buried people and ruined careers and you know is a glory hog trying to hang on for every last bit he can possibly get. I get all that, a discussion for another time. But it had to be him here. It just had to be. If you don't get that and if you don't see that, then, then I don't know what the hell you're missing. It had to be Hulk Hogan. And come WrestleMania 31 weekend, that night before WrestleMania, when that Hall of Fame ceremony happens, you're going to see and you're going to understand why Hulk Hogan was the right choice to induct the Macho Man Randy Savage. It was the only way to go, brother.